a uniform rod CD of length 5 meters. So we've got a rod here CD of length 5 meters and it's got a mass of 20 kilograms. Now because it's a uniform rod, the mass is going to be acting in the center. Okay, so and that'll be the weight, sorry, be acting in the center, that's 20 G. And it's resting on supports at E and F. So we've got a support at E and F and so it means and it says that the distances from the end are 0 0.8. So you've got from C to E is 0 0.8 and from D to F is equal to 0 0.8 and uh, it's, um, that's your diagram. It says when a particle of mass m kilograms is placed on the rod at C, so you've got this mass put on the end of the rod here at C, and because its mass is m, that means its weight would be mg, it says the rod is on the point of turning about E. So here you've got the supported E here, and if you were to put a heavy weight here, eventually what would happen is the rod would lift up, so it would sort of go up and it would go down and it would sort of tilt up like so. But it says that if the rod is on the point of turning. What that means is it means that this is just sort of touching, the rod here is just touching the support. It hasn't moved, it's in equilibrium. It's just about to lift off of the support. In other words, there's minimal contact between them. In other words, um, the rod won't, won't be acting downwards on the support. The support won't be acting, there won't be any normal reaction. It'll just be sort of touching there, okay? Just sort of just touching, and there's no force downwards on the support, and there's no force up from the support, okay? So remember, equal um, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. If the rod isn't pushing down on the support, there'll be no pushing up from the support up onto the rod. But it hasn't moved, it's just sort of hovering there, just hovering, you know what I'm saying, it's just sort of touching it. So, um, but there would be a normal reaction at at E, okay, so there's a normal reaction there at E, because um, obviously if it's going to uh, tilt, if it's going to lift up there, it's still going to touch this support, okay. So we've got our diagram labelled, let's just recap that. You've got the weight in the centre of the rod. You've got the uh, particle that's been put on the end of the rod. It's about to lift off the support, so that means it's not going to act down on it and there won't be any normal reaction back up, but there is a normal reaction at the upper support. The question says find the value of m, so in other words, the mass of this uh, particle. So uh, let's work it out. Uh, so let's take moments. Uh, in terms of taking moments, um, I think a sensible position to take moments about would be the support here at E. Now remember, you can take moments anywhere. The clockwise moment will always be equal to the anti-clockwise moments um, for any uh, rod or beam in equilibrium. Uh, and because this is an equilibrium, so on the point of turning, it hasn't moved, so it's in equilibrium. Uh, so we could take the moments about the end point here. I wouldn't want to do that because that would be zero times in the mg, which would mean that we would have no value for m. Okay, so if you were to take moments about c, you would not actually be able to find the m that you're trying to find. We could take the moments about a, and we will do that, and that's a good place to take moments about uh, because that means that you're not having to use the normal reaction for r. Okay, because it'd be zero times r, that's zero. So you're just left with the, the moment of this force and the moment of that force, okay? Um, you could find the r though uh, by just saying forces up equal forces down on the beam. So r is gonna be equal to mg plus 20, m, or, sorry, mg plus 20g. And you could use that value and you'd still be able to work it out if you were to take moments about any other position in the rod. Uh, you could take moments about the center of the rod. Um, you could do that. Um, or you could take moments about the uh, support at F. I have chosen this point, so I'm going to take moments, moments about E. Okay, so remember clockwise moments are equal to anti-clockwise moments. The clockwise moments, so if I'm at E, the clockwise moment will be this one. So that's going to be equal to the distance. Uh, now we had the rod is five meters. So that means from the end to the center is 2.5 meters from the end to the center. And we know from the end to the support was 0 0.8, that means there's gonna be 1.7 there. So from E to the force here will be 1.7 times by the force 20 G. So that is the clockwise moment, and that equals anti-clockwise moment. Well, obviously if you're at E, that's gonna be acting in an anti-clockwise direction. So it's gonna be 0 0.8 times by M times by G. And we'll just work this out. So 1.7 times by 20 times by 9.8 equals 333.2 
uh, newton meters and that equals the uh, other side which would be or the anti-clockwise moments so 0 0.8 times by 9.8 uh, that's the 0 0.8 times g and that equals 7.84 but you still times that by m which we do not know we then divide the 333.2 by 7.84 and we get that m is equal to 42.5